everyone, so I have been AWOL because I have been finishing my Java course, and now that's all done with, I thought I would talk about some of the books I've acquired and how they've helped me. So Java is the first actual programming language I've learned. Um, I'm 30 years old now, and the only other computer science-y stuff I did was HTML and CSS when I was like 14. So it's been a very long time. So let's just jump right into it. The first book that I bought before I even enrolled in a course was Java for Dummies. I wanted to see what I was getting into. I found this on Book Outlet for really cheap. It was like five bucks or something like that. The list price is $47.99 Canadian and I do not recommend paying that much for it. I think five dollars is more than enough. Um, but this book goes over the primitive variables like what is a byte, what is a short, um, object variables and formatting variable content, working with operators, working with conditional statements, um, arrays and collections, loops, errors, classes, and there's a little bit on string manipulation and manipulate XML data. So I went through this and took notes and you know it tells you like the calendar thing, the big decimal thing, um, what a global variable is, that sort of thing. So if you know nothing about programming, this one was okay, um, but it's definitely not my first choice. Another book that I got was Core Java. This is Volume 1, Fundamentals, 10th edition by K.S. Horseman. This is a very thick book. There's also the second book which I got, which is above my uh, comprehension level at the moment. Um, but this book was pretty good. Let's see what I have bookmarked here. It was on sets and maps and hash maps. It gives some examples. Um, it basically gives a very small description an example and then it moves on to something else. So you don't get very much meat in this book even though it's very thick. It covers a large um, amount of topics but not very in-depth. So I thought it was useful to act as a secondary uh, resource but on its own I don't think you could learn Java with it. The third and final book I want to talk about this time is actually the textbook that we used for the class, and I think it's an excellent resource. It is Java Foundations Introduction to Program Design and Data Structures, 3rd edition by John Lewis, Peter de Pasquale, and Joseph Chase. This book was really good, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I liked how it was laid out, chapter by chapter. Um, it covered a lot of stuff. In the three courses that I did, we covered everything in this book except for graphics and databases. So what did we cover? Well, I'll just read you some of the um, table of contents. So there's an introduction, obviously, data and expressions like character strings and variables, classes and objects, conditionals and loops, writing classes, uh, arrays, Inheritance, polymorphism, exceptions, analysis of algorithms, stacks, uh, linked structures, queues, lists, iterators, recursion, searching and sorting, trees, binary search trees, heaps and priority queues, sets and maps, multi-way search trees, graphs, there's databases, and the GUI stuff. So what did I like about this book? Well. Unlike the other ones, there is a lot of meat in here. So for example, an example chapter would have the following. It has these objectives on the very first page. It tells you what you should learn. Then it has a lot of text with examples. And the examples are, some of them are graphics, but there's also a lot of code in here. Um, here's an example of some code. You can't really see that well, but it's there. And it tells you what the output should look like. It gives um, alternatives to the code, so if I change this, what will happen? That sort of thing. Little experimental things. And it's very clear. It's for a beginner. It is 
um, great for learning. And at the end of each chapter, there's a summary of key concepts, which is just one or two sen sentences of each concept, a summary of terms, like a glossary. Then there's some self-review questions with answers. Then there's some exercises, which the answers are not in the book. And there's programming projects that are not in the book. However, I found a website called chegg.com, C-H-E-G-G.com. This is not sponsored by them. Um, but they have the answers to most of the questions in the book. So that was a real helpful source. So of the three books, I definitely recommend this one the most. Um, if you can get this one instead of the dummies book, I would definitely recommend that. Recommend that. This was a very comprehensive, in-depth, um, full of examples textbook. And just really, really good. So I think this one is really worth the money. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but we went through the whole book and I have no complaints about it. It was really good. So that's my little review on three programming books. I hope you guys have been doing well and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.